Preston's in the clear. He sidesteps inside and outside. On the last tackle now, Plange had deliberately stayed back for the kick. Now there is Hampson with the kick, and that's high, and that's testing. That's certainly going to test St. Janellis. The youngsters underneath it, but he took it well. And sidesteps past Leiden and Bell, but it's Hampson as well who misses him, and he's still going. Leiden eventually gets back. But the youngsters made a fantastic amount of ground with some really elusive play. Well, that almost looked a forward pass there as Plange comes inside, and Plange is going to score. David Plange has scored a try for Catterford out of almost nothing. Well, it was French who got the game in motion, then Plange taking that ball on the angle, in the gap, beautifully timed pass. And he had the pace and strength to go inside the cover there and score under the post for Catterford's first try. A fairly straightforward kick then for Stedman, and that is two points, so the gap, just the two points, as Wigan lead 8-6 after 23 minutes play.